If you're brand new to eToro, or perhaps you've been using it for a number of years like myself, perhaps you've got quite a lot of investments in there already, you might have heard of their popular investor club. So what exactly is it? Can anyone join it? What are the requirements? And I've even got a little special bonus for you in this video where I'm going to be introducing you to one of the most popular, popular investors with her top tips as well. If you're a new investor, an experienced investor, or just looking to get the best strategies when you're creating your own portfolios overall. So here we are on eToro and it certainly is one of my favourite platforms to use for investments. You can actually follow my investments as well. If you're a member on eToro, if you look for at Furfer, you'll find out exactly how I am doing with my investment portfolio. We've even got a monthly challenge, you might catch that on this channel as well, where you can see my husband and I put a little bit of fun money in and creating portfolios together. Now I shared recently that I've increased the value of my portfolio. I've actually become a popular investor in the past couple of months now, it's been about four or five months months I've been one but during the rest of my life cycle using eToro I've copied other people's portfolios I've copied other popular investors so I'm well aware of this program and scheme that they run now what I'm going to talk to you about today is perhaps you've heard of it you're unsure what it is and I also want to give you some of the benefits of being part of that popular investor club if perhaps it interests you as well so here we are on the screen this is my portfolio within eToro you can follow me you can see exactly what I'm investing in you can see every time I buy and sell. The great thing about eToro as well that you can copy people's portfolios. Now they don't need to be a popular investor for you to do that. You can copy my portfolio the entirety of the time that I've been using eToro but I am a popular investor in the past couple of months as well. So being a popular investor in a way allows other people to easily copy your portfolios. You can do this when you're not a popular investor as well. So you could for example before I was a PI you could have copied my portfolio or anyone else's but being part of the popular investor club being a member of that I've then got different features that I have access to I'm going to cover those in this video and the first thing eToro actually says it's kind of like an investors club there's different levels of the club membership and it all depends on what size of portfolio that person is actually holding themselves what amount of people are actually copying them as well and also the risk performance and there's also some education and qualification requirements the further you go up in the ranks now if you come to the eToro main page about it. Another benefit is that this is a way that you could actually make passive income from investing. So as more people copy your portfolio potentially, then you can get a part of a payment and there's different requirements before that's possible. But let's just give a rough overview of what is actually involved in becoming a popular investor. So the popular investor program has four levels and if you initially apply and get accepted, you'll probably be a cadet first of all, that's where everyone starts. Cadet, champion, elite and then pro elite. To work your way up, you simply can't jump levels, you've got to make progress and we'll cover those very quickly. First thing to actually be accepted on the program, you have to be verified. So that means you have to have a real picture of yourself, you can't have any logos and I'll show you on my portfolio what exactly I mean. So it's got a picture of myself. You've also got to have a little bit of information about your style. So this is in your biography here. You've got to kind of explain how you make up your portfolio strategy. Are you a long-term investor, short-term, a day trader, whatever it is that you think is key. If somebody was copying your portfolio, you'd want them to know what you're actually going to invest in and what's your strategy overall. It also gives information about the returns that you've had in the past year, which again, this is vital if somebody is wanting to copy you. And I also like to make sure that within my feed, so it's kind of like Facebook a little bit, you can put updates, you're keeping people updated with what you're actually doing. Now, as we go back into that, that's those typical settings that you have to at least have ticked to make sure that people know who you are, you're a real person, and what also is your strategy. Keeping the potential copiers that you have up to date with what you're doing, the choices you're making, or just reflections on portfolio changes that you're making. Now to move up the levels, so being the initial stage of just simply a cadet, that means you've got to have some basic requirements as well met. So not only have you verified basic information, but you've got to have at least been on the platform for two months. The another requirement is you've got to at least have a thousand dollars in your portfolio you are personally either in cash or investing. There are some other requirements that you've got to have at least one other copier. So when you start, anyone can copy your portfolio, but to be a popular investor there must be at least one person who's choosing to copy you. Now there's other insights as well for example you can't have a score high 
higher than six on their risk threshold. When you're towards the five and six, it will be that you're picking assets that are highly volatile. So perhaps your portfolio is mainly cryptocurrency or commodities that crash and rise very quickly. So keep that in mind. They want people to copy you and they know that they're not going to dramatically lose or make money very quickly. Now to move up the levels and you'll see then when you move into champion level, you actually qualify for a monthly payment depending on the size of your portfolio and also the people who are copying you as well. Now to move up the levels, basically the size of your own portfolio will increase and also the total sum of portfolios of everyone else who's copying you. So as you move up the levels, you might even have to get, let's say, closer to 100 copiers, then 1,000, then maybe even 10,000 as a rough estimate. And you can see your own personal portfolio jumps up. You can have $5,000 roughly for champion level, then 25,000, then 50,000. So really this has to be as you move up the levels, perhaps this is your full-time profession being a trader or certainly looking after other portfolios for people. You tend to find some investment companies will be using eToro as individuals to make choices as well. Now a key thing to call out, as I said, there are requirements in terms of minimum copiers as you move up the levels and also minimum times at that level. You simply can't jump levels. You have to do some time requirements as well. I particularly love as you go higher up the level, so there are actual requirements in terms of qualifications as well. So keep that in mind. If you want to do some of the higher levels, the chances are you are likely to be a professional portfolio manager. Maybe you're part of an investment firm already, or this is just something that you do with a deeper passion. Now, another great feature of being a popular investor for me compared to maybe just a general user is all the additional benefits I get that normal eToro users wouldn't have access to. And that means even if you've got only a couple of copiers, you'd still qualify for some of these additional features at the bottom levels. First of all, there's a chance that you can have fee-free withdrawals, particularly as you move up the levels. And that's certainly rather than paying $5 every time you're withdrawing cash from your portfolio, that could be a great saving for you. The other thing I particularly like is you've got access to financial magazines and literature. There's even reimbursement of up to $100 for trading or investment books. Another great benefit for me. I love that insight. And as we move through it, there's also options perhaps for a debit card to your eToro account. You can even then, as we go further into you, get things like a client relationship manager. So you would actually have someone dedicated at eToro who would look after your account that you can ask questions or have any concerns and raise them with them. I also love the fact I've got access to additional seminars that eToro are running. So as we go into the further levels, there's even a chance to go to conferences and exclusive access to maybe some of the key people that you wouldn't normally as a normal investor with eToro. So if you've been using eToro for a while, perhaps even your friends and family are as well, this could be a way that you can maybe make another passive income if you qualify for the further levels while you're building your own portfolio. Plus you've also got the bonus of additional education potentially. This is the same as maybe having a little side hustle that you could really work in developing your investing and trading knowledge on the side. Now in the past, I have actually copied other people. You can't copy other portfolios when you're a popular investor, but during the start of my journey, it was one of the ways I was building up my portfolio and I actually copied this lady exclusively. This is Heloise Griff and she is one of the elite pro popular investors on eToro. I have to be honest and say she's probably the top PI. If I was actually going to copy someone, I'd probably go back and copy what she's actually doing. She has actually agreed to share some of her top tips if you're thinking about becoming a popular investor and they're actually cracking tips in their own right if you're just wanting to better your portfolio management of any size whether we're with eToro or not. So here's Heloise to tell you more. Hi everyone. Thanks so much Jen for inviting me to be on your channel. I'm really excited to be a part of this episode. And what a fantastic time to be talking about eToro's popular investor program. First up, let me uh, uh, introduce myself. My name is Heloise Grief. I'm known on eToro as RubyMCA. And like Jennifer, I'm an engineer by training uh, and I've been on eToro for just over five years now. And I really joined the platform, uh, like many of you, in pursuit of my own financial independence. About two and a half years ago, eToro approached me to join the Popular Investor Program, so I decided to give it a go. 
and today I have over 160,000 followers uh, of which about 21,000 copy me on eToro and Jen asked me to join this episode to really share some reflections with you on my journey so far and hopefully allow you to learn from those on how to grow your copiers and your assets under management. So I'm going to give you three tips which I think have been really fundamental in um, allowing me to grow as a popular investor over the last two and a half years. Number one is I can't talk about anything before I talk about ego. It's so important to stay humble as a popular investor because what that allows you to do is it allows you to be honest not only to yourself but also to your copiers about the decisions that you make and the reality is that not every decision is going to be a good decision. Um, it's been shown that on average about 30% of an investor's decisions don't necessarily turn out the way they intend. And by being honest to yourself, it really allows you to walk away sooner rather than later. And by doing that, you can eliminate any potential further losses. You can communicate that clearly to your copiers and um, also go back to the drawing board and refine your investment strategy. Number two is authenticity. eToro is like no other platform. It's um, built on the pillars of trust and transparency. Uh, for instance, you can see my entire trading um, history over the last five years uh, and that's really something spectacular which no other platform allows you to do. But what that means is that it requires a level of authenticity from the users because if you're simply blindly going to be following somebody else's um, strategy in how they act as BI, um, you're bound to fail because you either wouldn't understand every decision they make or you would be very likely to uh, give up on some of the positions when the times get tough. So being authentic, understanding your own goals and your own appetite for risk is really important for um, to lay a strong foundation. And thirdly, the most important one I think is managing your emotions. No matter how good your financial strategy is, it will fail if you don't keep your emotions in check. The stock market is historically been volatile, it will continue to be volatile and it's really in those times of downturn that having um, emotions allows you to stick to your strategy and be disciplined with what you aim to do on the platform. So as you can see, like many things in life, there's really no magic bullet um, to fast track your following. It's all about consistency over time. It's all about being transparent, being authentic and being um, true to yourself and your copiers. So I'll leave you with my personal investing mantra, which my followers um, are very annoyed by by now, but can probably repeat in their sleep. It's really simple. It's only two words, patience and discipline. Uh, I wish you all the very best on your financial journey, and I look forward to seeing you on eToro. So if you want to find Heloise on eToro, if you look for her username right here, and the great thing about eToro is you can, anyone can go in and see what these popular investors, people who are actually at the top of their game with investing, managing huge portfolios for other people, huge number of copiers as Heloise actually shared, you can see what she is doing right now, what she's holding, what she's buying, what she's selling. And there's even chart and information about her stats overall, how she's been doing in the past year and also the past couple of years. So you can actually see her every single trade she's made for I believe the past five years they keep the data so by any means it allows you to get a full picture or whoever you're copying if you just want to copy someone who's doing this as their day job themselves you don't want to worry about doing it yourself you can actually go in and see all the information before you choose to copy it with your own capital.
So now that you've actually put your bio picture on, perhaps you've got your eToro portfolio, that you've got your little bit of information, what your style, what's your strategy, and you want to apply, simply go to eToro.com, you'll find information there, and you click on this button. Then give you things just to double check you're okay with what you're actually submitting for, you know the requirements, and then you hit sign in, it'll take you to your profile on eToro. Now from there, one of the popular investor team will then look at your account, go through everything on that checklist and either accept or decline. I did actually find it took me a couple of attempts to be accepted, but they always gave me some recommendations about what I needed to fix. Perhaps my biography wasn't clear enough, or I didn't have enough updates actually explaining what I did. And then as soon as I got it all perfectly in line with what they expect, I was then accepted. And if you actually have a look on eToro, you can see again my feed, some of the strategies that I've used to actually build up the information for other copiers of my portfolio. And you can actually see how I'm doing, you can actually see what I'm investing in, and then my stats as well on the platform. So what are my thoughts now having been a popular investor for a number of months and also my journey onwards? Well, my investment style is long term, so I've got a mixture of growth, stocks and shares, I've also got a tiny bit of crypto, very tiny little bit, and also I've got some dividend paying companies within my portfolio. I tend to go for the backbone, if you want to check it out, uh, is actually index funds and trackers. I added a good, a good bulk of actually capital with that backbone in the past couple of months. Now also on top of that, I've got the little fun money challenge that I do with my husband. So some months there's a little bit of variation, a little bit more riskier depending on what I've picked. But overall, I see this as a platform that I can actually build a portfolio that's for long term and I don't need to worry about it because I've got that backbone of solid investments and then adding things that catch my interest, products that I'm using myself and companies that I actually believe long term will add value to my portfolio. Now the great thing is of course people also have the option to just follow what you're doing as a popular investor so that means they don't need to actually use their own capital and copy what you're doing and then get that reflected in their own amount of money. When they actually follow they can simply see what I'm buying and selling and what I'm doing with my strategy. So it's a way also people can actually see and get insight and perhaps then say, oh, well, actually, is that something I want to invest in or not? I also think since becoming a popular investor, my risk profile has actually gone down. I think I'm more aware also of other people are using their capital and mimicking exactly what I'm doing with their choices. So I'm more likely to actually take that further level of research, more likely to be absolutely certain that I want to invest in these things. Now, obviously, you can't negate risk, that's obviously part and parcel of investing. Sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong, but I'm definitely more conscientious of what I'm actually investing in to make sure it's not only my money, but potentially it's other people's money that's important to them. And you can see that with all the choices I make. If I invest in something, I do believe long-term it's going to make money, but equally it's the type of portfolio that I also need to clean up and rebalance maybe every six months or a year, keeping in mind some things that haven't rewarded me in the way that I planned, and that's okay. So if you do fancy becoming a pop popular investor on eToro, please do go over to their platform and hit apply and just find out if it would suit you and maybe some of your goals for your investing, but also your information career as well. Is this something perhaps you would like to learn more about? Perhaps even it's a way that you could build up a portfolio and help other people they could share in your knowledge and what you're doing with your investments. As always, I hope this video has helped you in your investment journey ahead. And with investing, of course, your capital is at risk. And because somebody's copying you, you're still carrying those risks for you and that other person as well. But if you do fancy finding out more about investing, why not check out these additional videos on my channel? There's one right here that you can check out after this one that will give you a little bit of knowledge about something that will also help you on your journey. And also you can hit subscribe. You can also go to eToro and check out my portfolio there. So thank you so much for watching today. I'll speak to you very soon.